pressed on, Chinese aggression, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken calls Taiwan country again. Here's a summary of the article. Antony Blinken publicly referred to Taiwan as a country for the second time as Secretary of State during a congressional hearing on Monday while being scrutinized on the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan and its implications for American security commitments elsewhere. Republican Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick, representing Pennsylvania's first congressional district, told Blinken that the people of Ukraine and Taiwan are scared to death. Pressed again on whether the U.S. would do whatever it takes to defend them, the Secretary of State said Washington would stand by our commitments under the Taiwan Relations Act, TRA, and referred to support given to Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky during a meeting with Biden at the White House on September 1. A definitive guarantee of American military support in the event of conflict across the Taiwan Strait is not included in the law, but it requires the President and Congress to promptly discuss an appropriate U.S. response to any threat to Taiwan security and subsequent danger to American interests. O said Taiwan would continue to bolster its self-defense capabilities and deepen relations with the U.S. and others to maintain peace across the Taiwan Strait and contribute to the long-term stability and prosperity of the Indo-Pacific region. China, which claims the island as part of its historic territory, is yet to comment on Blinken's remarks, which would appear to veer away from the long-established State Department practice of not referring to Taiwan as a country. At another House hearing in March, before setting off for Alaska for the Biden administration's first face-to-face meeting Chinese officials, Blinken first referred to Taiwan as a country when asked to commit to invite Taiwan to this year's summit for democracy and work on a free trade agreement with Taipei. This post received a score of 4,300, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I can't get over the fact that that guy's name is A. Blinken. Did you say A. Blinken? With the undersecretary named Ah Chu. A Jew? Here? Bless you. Great. Now he's gonna get body slammed by John Cena. John Zena. John Dollar Ina. It is. Taiwan is an independent country. Fuck the CCP and their bullshit claims. The very fact that Chinese mainlanders need to apply for a visa to travel to Taiwan need to be wetted by their immigration services as not having any CCP ties, and are routinely rounded up and shipped back to the mainland for all sorts of reasons, all of that should be evidence enough that Taiwan is a separate country. Taiwan and China do not issue each other's nationals with visas or recognize their passports, but instead issue entrant and exit permits. This is due to the fact that they do not recognize each other as countries, and see each other's nationals as their own, from a legal perspective. A very interesting scenario TBH. Taiwan is an independent country. This is clearly intentional. Good. The international community needs to stop walking in eggshells around China. With Biden claiming to be committed to the one China policy, but Blinken continually making these slip ups, it seems like they're playing quite the interesting good cop bad cop game. They aren't slip ups. U.S. agrees to a one China policy, which recognizes the PRC as China. U.S. policy however does not recognize Taiwan as part of that China or PRC sovereignty over Taiwan. Kind of sad that admitting an independent country exists is considered news. True, although country equals equals independent country. They are independent in all but name. Only reason they don't declare it is fear of provoking China. Taiwan is a country though, isn't it? Taiwan is a country though, where's problem? Because it is. A. Blinken. A. Blinken. Big if true. West Taiwan seems upset again. From the article itself. But Taiwan is a country. China have their feelings hurt so easily. My keyboard says made in Taiwan. I guess whoever else in the world has the same model keyboard also believes Taiwan is its own nation? Edit. This was a trap. I caught one down below. It's time the U.S. recognizes Taiwan. Its allies will follow them in recognizing Taiwan as well. It's an independent country after all. Fuck the CCP. Oh, I'm curious to see what tantrum fit West Taiwan will throw this time. Greater than West Taiwan a epic department? Yeah, this freaking good sir when's the heckin' internet for today? But Taiwan is a country. I'm more offended we're still kaling at China and not mainland Taiwan. 
This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.